The names within the landscape of the Kingdom of Fife, just like many other parts of Scotland, is rooted in Gaelic, from our glens and lochs to our mountains and hills. Here is what the names of the nine highest hills in Fife mean and how they are connected to Gaelic. Number nine, Kearney Hill. Whilst Cairn or Kearney is recognisable in Scots as a rocky place, its roots lie in the Gaelic word Cairn for a pile of stones, so the hill of the rock or the hill of the pile of stones, its summit is marked by a large and lonely rock, so its name may be in reference to that. Number eight, Lumbeni Hill, possibly from the Gaelic words Laum, meaning bear place, and Bain, meaning hill, to mean the hill of the bear landscape. Number seven, Norman's Law. Although there are no Gaelic connections with its current name, which means the Hill of Norman or possibly the Hill of the Norsemen, its original name, which dates back to the 12th century, is Dunmore, which means big fortress. Even today, the remnants of an ancient hill fort can be found on its summit. Number six, Largo Law. The Largo part most probably comes from the Gaelic for steep slope, Lairgeich. For law, the Gaelic word for hand, lav, could also be used to mean hill. And in Eastern Gaelic dialects, the V sound in lav could sometimes be spoken as a W, which evolved into the Scots word law for hills across Eastern Scotland, including Fife. Number five, Benarty Hill. In Gaelic, Bain or Ben means hill, and Art means high. So Ben Art means the high hill. Number four, Salin Hill. Saul comes from the Gaelic for barn or soul in. It's probable that the barn was a place of collection and storage for local tribute to the king of the period, so it means Hill of the Barn or Hill of the King's Barn. Knock Hill, one of the easiest translations. Knock in Gaelic means hill, and over time, when it was possibly anglicised, Knock became Knock, and the hill was then added. So Knock Hill means Hill Hill. And finally, the two highest hills in Fife, East and West Lomond. They most likely came from an ancient language used by the Picts to mean Beacon or the Beacon Hills, Alternatively, it could come from the Gaelic words Laum to mean bear, added to Monig, meaning hill. Whatever the meaning, the Lomond Hills almost certainly have the same origin as the iconic Munro, Ben Lomond.